Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in learning five signs that show that you're ready to find your guy, ready to find love, well, stick around because I will be revealing them on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm going to be sharing with you five sure signs that show you are ready to find your guy, you are ready to enter a powerful relationship, you're ready for love. The first one, I'm gonna step right into it, is you recognize, my dear, that only you, sub underline, only you, create your happiness. Here's what I mean. I connect with a lot of women who have somewhat distorted idea about love in the sense that they're not feeling it for themselves, they're feeling their life is somewhat flatlining emotionally speaking, not exciting, kind of boring, and they feel that when the guy arrives, rainbows will shine and unicorns will appear from uh, the mountains, and it's not true. So recognizing that only you create your happiness means that you can always expand on happiness if you have it, if you possess it, if you're stepping into it. If you don't have it, you're creating a relationship versus a relationship. Let me tell you why. Because then you fictitiously believe that he's adding, he's creating your happiness. Nothing could be, the worst line is you are my happiness. That's complete bullshit. You have it or you don't have it. If you have it, you can expand on it. If you don't have it, you're going to create a codependent relationship that's painful at best. Second, you are self-aware and own your life and your mistakes from the past. That doesn't mean that you feel less than. It doesn't mean that you feel that you're not as great because you've made mistakes in the past. Every human being, men and women, both in, in, throughout history and in, in, in this lifetime, have made plenty of mistakes in the past. You've come to become aware of your role in why something ended in the past and what you're doing differently now, or what are your understandings, or what are your new standards, or what are your new ways of opening or sharing or standing up for yourself or setting boundaries that allow you now to not make the same mistakes. In other words, because it takes two to tango, you recognize that there's a part that you played, no matter how much of a victim you feel in the last relationship, that was you, and you own that part, so that you don't have to commit the same mistake again as you enter a new relationship. Third, you are in a position of sharing your gifts. You enter a relationship not just because you want to be pampered and loved and appreciated and pursued and loved, but because you feel an overflow of what's great in your life and you feel like you want to extend that benefit, extend that light, extend that beauty, extend that passion to a human being who will be able to join forces with you in the creation of something more powerful. So your primary reason for entering a relationship is not what can he give me, is what can we create together and what can I offer for my heart that is a true gift. Number four, you know what you want. You recognize that there's things that make you thrive, help you thrive in a relationship, and things that make it very difficult for you to thrive or even enjoy a relationship. Now, the first part of the you know you're ready for love is you, you're clear about what you're looking for. You're clear about what is a showstopper for you. What are non-negotiables where you're not willing to go even an inch to the right or left because it's something so important to you. You also recognize not just this is what I want, but who the hell must I be to attract that? I think the beautiful list that all women create about this is the guy that I want, all men create this is the woman that I want, is powerful, not as powerful as who the hell must I be in order to attract that and to be a magnetic and polar resonance to that. How can I be a vibrational match to that human being that I want to connect with and attract that human being in a much easier way than if I'm asking for something that I'm not stepping up to be or express? Fifth and last, my dear, is number five, you recognize that it is a privilege, not a right, to love and to be loved. And here's what I mean by that. I think far too many human beings feel that because uh, it's a natural thing to feel love, that it's your birthright to experience deep, devotional, passionate love. And it's not more of a birthright to experience deep, passionate, conscious love than it is to 
become a master at chess or become an amazing mathematician or it's a, it's it's if you want something deep and profound it's a privilege and it takes work it takes consciousness it takes sacrifice it takes learning from your mistakes it takes eliminating shame it takes so much to create a very powerful relationship it's worth it but there is a price to be paid and as long as you know that it is a true gift and you appreciate and take care of it that way instead of taking it for granted hope this is helpful uh, insightful and useful to you in practical actionable ways right now in your life if you find that it is i'm going to ask you to do three things number one click like on this video Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen right now, you'll see a pop-up show up that allows you to sign up to a webinar that I'm hosting that will share with you a blueprint to find your soulmate in nine days or less. Very powerful stuff, absolutely free. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.